Basketball 101 involves the triangle offense and the system that we're going to uh, talk about. We want them to, have, there's basic concepts of the offense. and a lot well, of We it, need everybody to improve their three-point shooting. When you have that, it just spreads the floor out. Teams have to, you know, honor that. You, you know, as much as you want to concentrate on three-point shooting, it's about the lane. Three-point shooter, and they're going to move farther the three out. Three-point line will probably take care of itself as we go you along. You can't just have guys that can penetrate with no shooters because then everybody collapses. You know, the triangle offense, the sideline triangle that we promoted all those years and thought was such a fine off, you know, system has really been denigrated, I think, over the last three or four seasons. You know, they laid it on Kurt Rambis, but a lot of people point to all those situations. Uh, you know, too difficult to run and too difficult an offense for present day NBA basketball. And I don't think it's true. And basketball is still basketball. And, you know, the principles of offense are still the same. The players adhere to the concepts and principles of the offense. Uh, Kurt. He's got a way of handling players. He's, he's um, relaxed, but yet he has the ability to keep them focused on, you know, the important parts of it. He's a defensive oriented guy. Um, I had him as a defensive coordinator for my team. So. Phil Jackson is fixated on a triangle triangle and triangle. He's committed to the triangle. Phil went out and, and hired a guy, not from his tree, but, but a guy in Jeff Hornacek. I think he will do what Phil wants him to do for the most part. Nothing to be excited about, etc., etc. He's a really good dude. Remember that first year in Phoenix? Hornacek won 48 games and almost made Bringing the... in Jeff Hornacek is not something for me to get excited but, about. But Stephen A., have you been around Jeff a little bit enough? No, he's a really nice guy. <laughs> I, I... He's such a nice guy. I mean, come on, what? That's what? That's the best you've got? I, I, I think he will. <laughs> Stephen A. <laughs> Stephen A. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Jackson needs to get the hell out of town. Get the hell out of New York as quick as you possibly can. Well, it's New York, and with all the suffering this city has been subjected to, you gotta have somebody who is established who you believe in. Phil Jackson doesn't listen nor pay attention to what New Yorkers want. We don't want this. We want names, we want quality, we want people that we can believe in so when we pay our hard earned money to walk through the turnstiles to come and support the New York Knicks, we have a reason to do so. Tom Thibodeau, how about Mark Jackson, who I starred won. at St. John's, mm -hmm. who was a rookie of the year for the New York Knicks, who by the way, would have won a championship with Golden State if he wasn't pushed out of there by Joe Lacob, okay? Yep. I mean, is it possible that the Phil we're seeing as a team builder, an architect, is in fact incompetent? Let me tell you why, Skip, I wouldn't say incompetent. You know what word is most appropriate for Phil Jackson? One or two words, old or lazy. I'm not sure he's that guy who can turn around a franchise. Phil just thinks he's above the fray. I mean, he gives new meaning to the word arrogance. This man, <sighs> I'm very, very disgusted. We gotta get him out of New York. Mm. Phil Jackson has to go. Uh, it actually makes it easier because, uh, uh, you know, three-point shooting. I, I don't, and, uh, you know, that's uh, just something that doesn't even need to be said or expressed. Um, again, three-point shooting just spreads the floor out plays off those pick and rolls, pin downs. Kurt and I have a, uh, a relationship. You know, he knows the ins and outs, what pleases me probably would. So, you know, we have a relationship that's, uh, you know, much more um, tight and I, you know, having- I, I, I can tell, tell. 
Bill Jackson's addicted to the triangle. You're fixated on a quote unquote system and you're not thinking about what works in the NBA. You know, they got a they had an immersion in the triangle list. You can talk about triangles, you can talk about all of this other stuff. Don't mean a damn thing. It's been an abomination. Steven has some aberrant behavior. This he doesn't listen to what New Yorkers want. Do they have 11 championships to show you when they talk about We don't want this! Who are these people? Do me a favor and get the hell out of town. I'm still in it, and I'm in it to win it, so to speak. I think New York deserves better. <laughs> What are you doing, Phil? Our process is going on. It's a little underground or you know, a little beneath the surface. But I you know, thought this... that you were being paid an outrageous sum of money to rebuild one of the storied franchises in the National Basketball Association that plays in the mecca of basketball at Madison Square Garden. And Phil, as we speak, you're not doing a very good job of it. You know, you guys are making it really hard on us. Go to, back to L.A. You make this a good place to come to. It's a nice place. The press is good. They're positive about the team. Phil's done a great job of establishing a new culture here. Phil gotta go, man! You're right on the edge. You're putting yourself out there. It's do or die type of thing. You Just go! I'm throwing myself into this fray. And, you know, you may come out of this not alive. Ah, ah, ah.